All right, back to our 11 Investigates team, which has discovered Erie County's not been following those state directives. Lead investigator Brian Duggar worked out the kinks. He is with us to discuss his findings. Had a very interesting talk with the Erie County Health Commissioner this morning. Brian? Yeah, Mel, I really did. You know, I had been hearing reports that Erie County had been vaccinating its officers and its deputies. So I called the health commissioner this morning and asked him about that. And he said, yeah, we vaccinated 200 officers and deputies. And this is a clear violation of the state directive, which says only healthcare workers, nursing home employees, and EMS can be vaccinated at this point. And I really pushed the commissioner on this, but he was unapologetic. He said, look, a lot of the healthcare workers aren't going through the registration. They're not taking the vaccine. So he said, what am I going to do? You know, just sit on these vaccines. And he told me, look, I'm running my shop the way I need to run it. And it's frustrating for Toledo police because they want to get vaccinated. And now their neighbors are getting vaccinated and they can. So a clear distinction then between EMS workers and police officers. So I'm guessing the state is not too happy with Erie County tonight. They really aren't. And they said that Erie County is the only county that's kind of gone, uh, quote unquote, rogue on this. You know, and I asked Dan Tierney about it. He's the governor's spokesman. I said, are you concerned about this? He said, look, we talked to Erie County about this. I'm not going to tell you what we told them, but we talked to them. And he said the vaccine rollout really does require a coordinated response. And we're requesting anybody that has extra doses to contact us because it needs to be redistributed. But clearly he was not happy about it. Well, very interesting. We know that you're going to continue to cover this for us and uh, what happens next with Erie County. Thank you so much for your insight tonight, Brian.